and Dan here and welcome back to another video where today I have something very special for you and the potential start of a brand new series. We're inside The Sims 2. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are you playing The Sims 2? You played The Sims 4 and stopped playing it. What's going on? Well, basically, The Sims 4 got really, really boring very, very quickly. But the beauty about Sims 2 is not only is it one of my favorite Sims games, but there's so many expansions. I think there's like 20 expansions and stuff packs and stuff. It's crazy. And there are so many mods for this game. It is unreal, which means loads more content, lots of random things, new clothes, items, cars. There's so much stuff in this game, and I just think it's going to be super, super super awesome. So today we're going to play through the game for a little bit and I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether you want this, The Sims 2, to be a brand new series because I have mods that I can install, I have every single expansion pack loaded up and ready to go already. So if you do want to see some more Sims 2, please leave a big fat thumbs up and show me because I really hope you do. But without further ado, Let's play this game. Now, I have no idea which neighborhood to choose. These are all the standard ones, I think. So I'm going to go for the middle one. Let's do this. Play. Yes, let's see what happens. <laughs> I haven't played this game for so, so long. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a person. We are going to unleash them into the world and just start playing this crazy game. You ready? Good. Let's do this. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this, it's so old school, it's crazy. Is that a telescope? That's insane. <laughs> so here we are. Welcome. What is that? A kitty care castle? <laughs> Since when was that a thing? <laughs> right, here we go. The classic Sims 2 creator sim screen. Now we are going to create just one sim this time. Since Sims 4, we created two sims and the family got ridiculous. We had like eight sims on the go at the same time. So I just want to focus on one and then we'll create it from there. And of course, I'm going to build a vet build. What? I'm going to create our bold little friend, Treoris, because he's just awesome. Treoris. Awesome. Okay, let's add a human being. We also have uh, dogs and cats and pets and stuff because we have every single expansion and that right there is nothing like Treoris. <laughs> so let's fix this up a bit, shall we? He still needs like a fat-ish face, but um, we can edit that stuff anyway. Look at that mustache. Very nice indeed, sir. Okay, so we're going to choose brown because I think that affects the eyebrows and stuff, but we need a bald head. Oh my goodness, what is this? <laughs> what on earth is that? Look at him. He's got some crazy... I don't even know what that is. An afro? An afro and a clown hat, of course. Or we, <laughs> or we could go full knight on this. That's interesting. Okay. Or why not a monkey suit? I mean, wow, that actually suits that guy's mustache. Very nice. Oh, there we go. So smooth. Look how smooth that head is. Beautiful. Right, now we need to move on to the other stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> right, we need to make him kind of podgy. We kind of need him to have like a square-ish head. Oh, don't do that again. Oh, that's weird. Why are you doing that? Oh, that's strange. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> He's happy about it. Okay, so we're going to give him like a giant forehead and then... This should be- this should be cool. This is gonna be cool. This is gonna be cool. I also need to give him a monobrow as well, but we'll see if we can get to that. D he doesn't even have ears. How am I supposed to get rid of the ears? Here we go. Eyebrow. Is there a monobrow? There's no monobrow! What am I supposed to do? Oh my word. I can't get rid of this thing. There we go. <laughs> Look at the size of his head. Oh my goodness, that's insane. <laughs> Whoa, you can do some freaky things. Look how big his eyes are. Let's go to the full view. Oh, <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool. I don't know if I should keep that though. That's a little bit freaky. We we'll need to change to green eyes. And these are like custom eyes as well. They're not the standard eyes. So they look a little bit better. These are the standard ones. And then we change them to the normal ones. They don't look any different, do they? They don't look any different at all. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. His eyes are green. And we haven't been able to give him a monobrow. I'm really upset about that. Right. The nose. The nose. Oh, man. This has got to be correct. That looks pretty good. Yes. Now we just need to make it super long. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. It's really annoying I can't properly see it. There we go. That's better. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why he's got the mustache, though. I didn't want the mustache. Oh, my word. What have I done? What have I done? What has happened to you? 
Oh, geez. Right, I need to get rid of this mustache. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Get off. I want to see him. There we go. Look at that. That is huge. What a beard. Guys, I have no idea what I've done to his face. How has his face gone so wrong? <laughs> What is wrong? Why are you mad at me? Okay, I think I fixed him. I just need to take off this and let's see what he looks like. He hasn't got the weird old chin thing going on. That's not too bad. I don't mind that whatsoever. So now we need to dress him and sort his personality out because I don't think he wants this on his face, does he? <laughs> yes. Yes to the monkey suit. Look in the mirror. He's so happy with himself. <laughs> Why? Why is that even an option? Oh my goodness. Imagine him wearing that every single day. Hey, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Maybe I can change the trousers to something, but we're making progress. Right, so I've gone for this. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I've gone for... There was something that was really good. This is pretty good. Look. I think he suits that pretty nice. So that's his everyday outfit. I'll go through and do the rest. And then you can find out what I've chosen when he does those things like the swimming, the outdoors, and all the crazy other stuff too. Okay, so now we need to choose him an aspiration and also select his turn ons and turn offs. Now, can we roll this? I don't think we can like roll this to see if we can get random ones, but aspiration. We've got pleasure, family, romance, knowledge, fortune, and popularity. So this is where he wants to like study. You know what? This one could be quite good. Reach the top of the science career. That could be quite good. Be saved from death. Yeah, we're going to do that one, and then we're going to just change up his personality a little bit. He's playful. He's kind of lazy. He's a little bit outgoing. He's sloppy neat. You know what? That's actually pretty good. And now we need to choose these. So his turn on is creative, logical, and then we've got turn off is stink. Okay, stink. I think we're actually ready to go now. We've got Dr. Treoris. He's got all his stuff. He is an adult, and he's looking pretty good. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, he looks really grumpy now. <laughs> he actually looks really cool. Okay, we're done. We're done with this family. Let's tick that. Take the family photo. And now we need to move him in and get him started on this crazy journey of life. Now, where do I want him to live? In the castle? Hmm. There's an empty plot here, but I kind of want to start off in a house. And then if we don't need it, then we can just, like, knock it down. Um, uh, we've only got 20,000. Where, where do I live? Right then, guys, so what I've decided to do is move to Belladonna Cove because it looks like a much more interesting place. There's so much crazy stuff in it. I think this is the most, this is the newest one that they added to the pack, so it's going to have all the apartments and all the crazy stuff in it too. And I kind of want to try out the apartments because... Personally, I've never done that before. I don't know if it's good, don't know if it's bad, but we need to choose an apartment complex to move into. You can actually buy this. You could buy a house with a helicopter pad. That's amazing. Now, we do need to take into consideration that we only have uh, 20,001, I think. 20,001 simoleons. So we need to kind of shop within our budget. Um... Let's try here. Move into an empty apartment unit. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, working from the bottom, and then hopefully we can work up to the top. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh my goodness. What have I done? What have I done? Um, okay, so... Hey, what? Treoris, what are you doing? You can't just, you can't just do that. Pick it up. There we go. Oh man, where have we moved into? Which one's ours? We've moved into a trailer park. Which one is our house? Is this is this one ours? Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Treris, you're gonna have to I can't I can't live here. Not that I have anything against trailer parks, but this is not what I imagined for Treoris. I didn't even know you could get this. <laughs> Plan B. I have bought this little house and we are going to move into that. Now, I've just thought the reason why I don't want to go into an apartment is because there's an expansion pack called Open for Business, which is really, really cool because you can set up any shop you like and be able to sell anything you like. And I think that's something Churros could be quite good at because you can craft like potions and lotions and crazy stuff. And this ain't too bad. Look how cool this is. What is he doing? What is he doing? Why is he always doing crazy stuff? Charles, what are you doing, buddy? Are you catch- you're catching- okay, he's- <laughs> he's catching butterflies. Did you get one? What does that mean? Did- no, you missed. Oh, dear. That's okay. It's fine. You can try again. 
You can try again later. Anyway, let's let's have a look at our place. We've got 9,000 to kind of spruce it up. That ain't too bad. That could be a lot worse. And we've got some fish. Oh, yes. Okay. This is this is pretty good for a first house. But let's spruce it up a little bit. And then we'll get Treros on the job ladder and out of here. Voila! We are done with the decoration. So I think we've actually done pretty well, considering we have 4,300 left. And we haven't got bad stuff, to be honest. We've actually got really, really good stuff. So let's hit play and let Treros do his thing. Now, it might take me a while to kind of get used to all the controls and stuff. Doctor has gained enough enthusiasm in nature to talk about it with other Sims. Fantastic. Is that because, is that because you're catching butterflies? Is that the only reason that you're doing that, isn't it? It's the only reason. Look at him. He's so upset with himself. Go on, how hard, actually, I was going to say how hard it is to catch butterflies, but how big is that fish? How big is that fish? Did you see that? Look. Look at that. It's huge. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's going to take me a long time to get, uh, well, a little bit to get used to the controls. It's a lot different to Sims, uh, Sims 4. But let's get him doing some stuff. Let's see what he thinks of his new toilet. He's got enthusiasm in nature. He can now read about this hobby in the newspaper. Fantastic. So we have wants and needs. He wants an intelligence career. I didn't even know that existed. Uh, a gamer career. Oh, what are we going to do? Buy a telescope, gain a skill point, get a job in... Oh, oh, I don't even know what to choose. Oh, geez, what's that big... That's not good. That big black square. What's going on with the big black square, guys? You know what? It doesn't matter. We'll just leave that for now. But look, he's got a really nice place. It's kind of blue. It's kind of chill. He's got a really nice cooker, which is something I think we definitely need because you don't want to be, like, you don't want to be feasting on terrible, terrible meals. And then we've also got this really cool, that black square is so weird. Got this really cool TV set. Whoa. Whoa, that is nice. Look at that. That is so nice. Oh, my goodness. I like that. Oh, hello. How are you? That's a good place to find a job. Um, wow, I love that. That's really, really cool. Right, we need to get you some studying. We need you to study some... Wow, you can study loads. Anger management. Let's get you studying some cooking, because when you get hungry, you're going to need to eat. So let's get him um, stocked up on all the basic stuff. Then we can apply for a job, because we can survive for a little bit without a job. But apart from that, I, I like this house. It's not too bad. Very small, but not too bad. Oh. Hello. Greetings. They call me Mr. Humble, and I'm here to bestow upon you a great gift. He's blocked himself in. What an idiot. What have you done to yourself, sir? Are you okay? Sir, you've blocked yourself in, haven't you? <laughs> if I left him there, he would actually die. I'm pretty sure he would actually die. But anyway, he's given us... Oh my goodness, what is going on? What is going on? There's too much stuff. Everyone's visiting me. Go go away. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to read right here. Let me just get this skill point. There we go. Jeez. Oh, man, it's throwing me into the deep end. Let's cancel that and see. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, that's spooky. Right, let's open this and see what happens. He got a gift. I think I know what's in it. I think I remember what happens when you get a gift in The Sims. Oh, I thought that was a dog. It's a woman. <laughs> from there, look, it looks like the tail of a dog, her head. <laughs> so what do we get? A gift from Mr. Humble turns out to be a new computer. Yes, okay. Perhaps this machine has a game included or a sign of things to come. That is amazing. Why, why are you... Oh, geez, he's chilling out. Look at that lip. Oh, dear. But anyway, let's put down that, actually. Why is this woman hanging around outside my house? Go away, lady. Go away. I don't want any visitors right now. I'm trying to concentrate on living. There's a cat as well. What is going on? Cats? Butterflies? Are you trying to make food now? Stuffed face. Hey! You're gonna get fat! You're gonna get fat! Oh, jeez, he's dead. Oh, what are you doing?